It wasn't fully vaccinated old folk who ran onto the dance floors when nightclubs reopened. So were plans to make vaccine passports a condition of entry just a ruse to get more young people jabbed? Whatever the reasons, today those plans were dropped. We've looked at it properly and whilst we should keep it in reserve as a potential option, I'm pleased to say that we will not be going ahead with plans for vaccine passports. That's good news for nightclubs, of course. We are delighted. It gives us the independence, you know, the opportunity to, to further plan and put events on um, and, and to have that confidence of, of knowing what, we, what, what is needed from us. And in Westminster, vaccine passports had many enemies and few friends. Well, we've always been a little bit sceptical about where and when vaccine passports would be needed. But I would say with the virus circulating at the levels it is circulating, it is still relatively high. We still need, still need other measures in place to protect people. But this week, the government will give up some of its powers to close schools and businesses to combat the virus. And by actually uh, telling the public that uh, the government intends to remove any uh, powers for restrictions, it, it in a way sends the wrong public message uh, as if the virus is behind us. So I think it's really important that the government is clear about the actual state uh, of, of, of COVID in this nation, which is high levels of infection, high levels of hospitalisation uh, and illness. The Prime Minister's message this week will be that vaccines are the first line of defence and there is speculation that more announcements are coming on jabs for younger teenagers and booster jabs for adults. Carl Dinan, ITV News.